everyone, this is Mrs. Nightmare here, and we'll continue reading Rose the Shade of Love and Lust, Chapter 13. Before we get started, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepypasta fanfictions out there. Until then, let's get started. This is against the rules. No slender is being allowed to mate with my human. None. A voice. A few mean figures stood a little way from the offender manor, his face contorted into a large frown. His eyes followed every move that the large slender did, with anger and observation. His hand dropping a near by tree with impatience. I am sorry, master, a scrawny creature said behind the big man. It was the rake, naked with gray, gray skin, human legs, arms looked almost eight like with a pair of long claws at the end of each hand, dripping blood sprinkled on from the, his latest kill. Black, bulging eyes that look at the figure, fuming man, his face showing no emotions at all. You have failed me, Rake, but I will give you a chance to redeem yourself. Go into that house. Seek the human that dwells in there. He stopped and looked at the Rake, and bring her to me unharmed. He finishes. The Rake nods and headed head the sight off towards the mansion. No slender no slender may have you. None. Anyone. Only I deserve you. I alone. The figure vanished with those words. An evil grin on his face. Skylar's point of view. Drowning, drowsiness flooded through my body as I was trying to open my eyes. I turned to the side, wincing when I, my head flopped back onto the soft pillow. I smiled frightening a jolt up oh, something clashing crashing into my room my blue eyes scan search worriedly for the source of the sound only to see the window open it hit the the blinds as it flipped through the wind weird i thought that was closed for a second ago i think suspiciously going over to close it but when i stopped in my tracks Skyler, a voice called in a hunting tone that caused the hairs on the back of my neck to stand. I turned my head cautiously to search for the voice, only to scream, but soon muffled by a claw being pressed on my mouth. Shh, don't want to warn anyone else, now do we? It cooed, and it whispered. It was terrifying. The black deadly eyes yet of this creature that was looking at my body as it was covered only by a blanket. Get changed. Now my master wants you. He de demanded, growling. I was about to yell for a fender, but soon I could, before I could say anything, my world gone black. A fender's point of view. I reached downstairs to head back to Skylar's room. I heard a scream. Sensing in my mind into a fr frenzy panic, the shattered glass sent into me sent me in overdrive. I transported to her room to find Skylar missing, broken glass littered for, from the far window, and I ran to it, only to see Rake running with Skylar in his arms. No, I can't lose the most precious thing to me. I panic. I started to pace. Couldn't catch up to him now, even if I transported. Cinder may know where he's taking her and help.